invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as the squad. Pascal left Italy to start his new life in America. He promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, it's a wonderful thing about America is all of the clubs that they got, especially for the younger people. There is a boys a club, a girls a club, athletic club, and a special club just to help all ladies across the street. <laughs> That's called the Boy Scouts. <laughs> but also they got the Girl Scouts. I guess this must be to bring the old ladies back on this side again. <laughs> just like in Italy, the people over here, they're crazy for their little bambino. All over is the playgrounds, the parks, and lots of other places where the little people that can get off of the streets and be safe from autos and a taxi. It's a too bad that they no got a places where a big people can hide the two. <laughs> Today, I'm going to send my last $10 to the boys' camp. This is to pay for some poor boy so he can go to camp for a whole week. I think it's a wonderful idea, Mamma Mia. To get these little kids out of the city where they're going to see trees and cows and play baseball and go swimming and catch a poison ivy. <laughs> I'm going to feel so good about this. I think I'm going to go next door and ask my countryman Pasquale to give me some money, too. Hey, you're adorable. Be, you're so beautiful. You're as sweet as it can be. Luigi, my friend. I love you. I love you. I love you. Hello, Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale. How do you like to do a nice thing for somebody? Well, my little banana nose. I told it to depend on the three things. What the three things? Why should I do it? How much is it going to cost? And are you not getting it? <laughs> Pasquale, all I'm asking is to give us some money. To send a poor boy away to camp for this son. Nothing to do. And you stay here in the city and suffer just like the rest of us. That's what he is not for me. Is it for the poor kids. They get a chance to go out in the country, ride a horse, play cowboy. Ten dollars is to send a boy away for one a week. Twenty dollars are two weeks. Thirty dollars are three weeks. Luigi, here's a fifty in the cents. So let him go see Hop Along and Cats. <laughs> Pasquale, what's wrong with you? I'm just asking you to help out of some kids. Luigi, I got my own troubles. In this world, everybody's got to watch out for himself. Dogs eat dog, fish eat the fish. Whole world is full of cannonballs. <laughs> you want to be kind to kids? That's a your pleasure. When I was a kid, nobody was a kind to me. Well, Pasquale, maybe that's the trouble. If the children get the more kindness, maybe they're not so angry with the world, and when they grow up, they build a better one. Thank you, Humphrey Zabogar. <laughs> Luigi, stop bothering me with sending the kids at the camp. If they want a fresh air and a greener grass, we've got a bigger park right there. Even they got a zoo. You don't have to go far to see cows or pigs or even a jackass. <laughs> You're so right, Pasquale. I don't have to go far to see a jackass. That's a funny thing. When I'm saying it, to come out a different. <laughs> you remember, Luigi, it's a dog eat a dog. Oh, those are kids with their ball. They just broke one of my plates again. Where's my ball? I just came in here. I got your ball, and you ain't going to get it. What a Pasquale. Give me back my ball. You ain't getting it, you little gangster. You broke one of my plates. I can have you arrested for arson. Come on, come on, Pasquale. You can't keep my ball. How many times I'm going to tell you not to play around in my store? Get out. Oh, give me back my ball. Give me back my ball. Pasquale is the man. Pasquale is the man. Listen to him. Pasquale is the man. 
Pasquale. Maybe you use it the wrong with psychology. Oh, oh, psychology, huh? Oh, close that door. Luigi, let me explain to you something about a child's psychology. You see, Luigi, in his childhood, every kid is a form of a lot of associations. He's a form of associations with his mama, his papa, and his teacher. This is called a parent-teacher's association. <laughs> Pasquale is one thing to know psychology, but is another thing to know people. I think in a boys' camp, but they know children are better than you. Now, excuse me, I'm got to go to my night school class right now. Hey, Johnny. Yeah? Is this to you, boy? Yeah. Gee, thanks. <laughs> you must not mind Pasquale. He's got so much on his mind. You see... He didn't even know I'm going to take this ball. Yeah, he's always taking away our ball. That Pasquale gives me a pain in the neck. Does it give you a pain in the neck? Oh, it's uh, too bad. Maybe you try to call the compress. <laughs> <laughs> that old money bag. If you was drowning, he'd throw you a, a candy lifesaver. Oh, no, no, no. That's not the truth, Johnny. Oh, no? Yesterday I heard his daughter Rosa say something about it being Pasquale's birthday. But he ain't gonna have one on account of he didn't even know it's his birthday. Tomorrow is a Pasquale's birthday? Boy, I, I'd sure love to surprise him with a cake. You would? Yeah, a cake of some men on the bottom of a lake. <laughs> <laughs> now wait, Johnny, wait. Hey, I got an idea. I make a Pasquale a surprise a birthday party. Johnny, you come? Free cake and candy? <laughs> I'd tell me that it was for the no goodness. Oh, I can adjust to see Pasquale's face when he's a somebody, sees a somebody to make a party for him. He's going to be so happy. Johnny, nobody's ever been the kind to Pasquale. But we, we're going to kill him with the kindness. A rock would be much faster. <laughs> no, no, Johnny, don't say that. Oh, Pasquale is going to have a big party. Oh, wait. I'm going to just to give him my last money to the boys at camp. Well, I'm going to go to my night school class now and ask my friends to help out. Well, goodbye, Johnny. I'm going to see you at the party. So long. D, you're so dangerous. E is excitable. F is... F is... Must be for Father's Day. <laughs> I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwood? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? Mr. Schultz, you're here. Why don't you stay here? What am I, a coopie cop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, fellow poopers. Oh, I'm so lovable. <laughs> Please, Mr. Schultz. Now, class, our lesson for today is on spelling. Now, who will volunteer to spell the word bench? Somebody? Oh, won't somebody volunteer? Looks like somebody will have to be drafted. <laughs> now, really, class, it's not that hard. Now, who can spell bench? Won't somebody raise his hand? Mr. Schultz? Well, if you're volunteering, just raise one hand, not two. Who's volunteering? I'm giving up. <laughs> All right, Miss Polly, I'm going to try it. Bench. Uh, B, E, N, E, N... N, N. Oh, Mr. Schultz, don't be silly. Bench doesn't have so many N's. This is a long bench. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you may sit down. On what? I didn't finish my bench yet. <laughs> Stop. Well, Mr. Basco, you have your hand raised. What is it? I'm Miss Spalding, I'm going to ask you in a class of something. Yes, Mr. Basco. Well... Tomorrow is a my countryman of Pasquale's birthday. Pasquale is kind of a man. He's a never have a party. He's even a forget when it's his birthday. And I was thinking, would it be nice a thing if we make him a party? Oh, oh no, 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 wouldn't it be a wonderful idea if we make a Pasquale a surprise a party? Wonderful idea that the prize will be none of us will be there. <laughs> Horowitz, how's about to you? 
Well, Luigi, I got a big affair to go to tomorrow. You see, my wife's mother-in-law is, you should excuse the expression, expecting. I mean, my, my, my mother-in-law's wife, uh, uh, I mean, we got Milton Burl on the television. <laughs> That's all right, sir. Also, maybe you... Uh, Louis, yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, tomorrow night I'm yawning the elk. Uh, I mean, uh, the deer. Uh, I, I mean, the moose. Uh, uh, what a spot for Daniel Boone. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Vassal, let's face it, Mr. Pasquale is not very popular. Popular? He is so mean. When he licks a three-cent stamp, Washington wishes he was on the two-cent stamp. <laughs> Just because Pasquale is a mean, that's a mean that we gotta act the same way. Wouldn't it be a nice thing if we all chip in and a surprise of Pasquale with a nice birthday cake? Something for about uh, eight dollars. Five dollars? Two dollars. Luigi, here's my penny. Get him a donut. <laughs> Life with Luigi continues in just a moment, but first, Mickey Rooney will be the star on Lux Radio Theater tomorrow night. And the play is that famous comedy about Hollywood, Merton of the Movies. Here, Mickey as Merton, the very serious-minded boy who strikes out from the Middle West to make his fame and fortune in Hollywood, and who achieves it one in one of those hilarious career turnabouts that could happen only in Hollywood. Arlene Dahl will be heard as Mickey's girlfriend. Be sure you're listening tomorrow night when over most of these same CBS stations... Lux Radio Theater presents Mickey Rooney in this great American comedy, Merton of the Movie. And now for the second act of Luigi Vasco's Adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia... Your son Luigi is very sad today. Sad not only because there's going to be no birthday party for Pasquale tonight, but because maybe is it true what the Pasquale said about how people act? How they only look out for each other. Mamma mia, in our family was always a love for each other. So I'm going to understand this other talk about the dog must eat the dog. <laughs> If this was a true mamma mia, sooner there would have been nothing left in the world but the one the big fat dog. <laughs> and what the Pasquale said about the Johnny. You think a boy is a born a bad and is always going to be bad? No. If a boy is act bad, is always a reason. Remember once how Uncle Pietro's goat is a suddenly go crazy? He's a refuser to give a milk. He's a no talk to anybody. And a one day he's a chase Mrs. Tarantella as a goat to three miles. Later we find out the why he's acted this way. He was in love with the Mrs. Tarantella as a goat. <laughs> anyway, I'm a sitting here in my story thinking the things over. Luigi, my fellow boober. Ah, look at you. You got such a worried look on your face. Like a sardine when he hears somebody opening up the can. <laughs> Schultz, does it look like there's going to be no birthday party for Pasquale? Well, Luigi, that's what I came to talk to you about. You uh -huh. see, the fellas... I mean, we all was... Uh... Ach, Luigi, here. Here's the eight dollars. Schultz! Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Schultz. Oh, stop that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Miss Spalding, me, and Horowitz, and Olsen... We couldn't stand it the way you looked when you, we turned you down. So we shipped in. Here's the eight dollars. Buy the cake. And believe me, Luigi, when I say I hope Pasquale chokes on it. <laughs> so, see, you don't really mean that. Oh, what a party is it going to be for Pasquale. You tell the whole class, eight o'clock tonight in my store, is it going to be a big surprise party. Then I'm going to walk in a half a past eight with the Pasquale. Oh, wait, wait. What? I'm going to eat dollars for the... Oh. Huh? 
I got eight dollars for the cake, but there's no money for the food. The candy, the ice cream, and the drink. Food, candy, ice cream, drink? Look, Luigi, from me, you're not getting one red cent. And if the FBI thinks that's propaganda, shoot me. <laughs> Into my head, an idea just pooped. I know, I know, I know just the fellow who can lend you all the money for Pasquale's birthday party. Who? Pasquale. <laughs> so, so what are you talking about? Ah, sure, sure, Luigi. He don't know it's his birthday. Now, you say the party is for a friend of yours. Ask him for the money. Yeah. You'll find out how generous he is. But it's sure ah, like You're worried, huh? Well, I gotta go now. We're all going to be in your store at 8 o'clock sharp. And cheer up. Don't be a pessimist. Smile. Be an octopus. <laughs> Goodbye, Luigi. And remember, smile. <laughs> <laughs> My room is just going to kill me. <laughs> Mama. I'm a feel funny. I'm a gotta ask Pasquale for money for his own surprise party. <laughs> Pasquale, for your sake, I hope you lend me this money. Hello, Luigi. Well, what are you looking at me like that for? Pasquale, uh, I'm a like to lend, uh, say, about $25. Oh, ho, the kids, if they ain't satisfied with that camper vacation, now you want to send them on a trip to Europe, eh? <laughs> Pasquale, is it not for the boys' camp? Then maybe it's for that little gangster, Johnny. You want to buy him his own little jail, maybe, eh? <laughs> no, no, Pasquale. I'm going to need this money for a party. Democratic or Republican? <laughs> Pasquale, please, no joke. This party I'm going to make is a surprise party... For a very dear friend of mine. Oh, a friend, eh? Is it somebody I know? You know him very good. He's about my size? That's right. Is he got a foolish face, a mean disposition, everybody's a hate him? Well, uh, he... I know, it's a Schultz. <laughs> I'm sorry, Luigi. Goodbye. Go away, scats. No, no money, no money. No, Pasquale, please, please listen. It's just a one a minute. All right, go ahead and talk. My ears, is it going to be hanging out? But in between, is it going to be nothing? Well, Pasquale, I'm going to need the $25 for a very good friend. And I would do anything if you do me this favor. I don't... Uh, uh, anything? <laughs> Almost anything. Better marry my daughter, Rosa. <laughs> no, Pasquale, she's a too fat for no, me. No, Luigi, stop. Come here, I tell you what I do. I make you friend at the most beautiful catered party right in your place. Everything from soup until you go nuts. <laughs> Only you got to marry Rosa. Pasquale, please, you I'm... You said you wouldn't do anything... Rose is not anything. She's everything. <laughs> all right, all right, Luigi. We compromise. Don't marry her. Just to give me the pleasure tonight at the party, I'm going to make a little announcement about a you engagement to Rose. Pasquale, I... Well, you claim you do this for your friend. What do you say? All right, Pasquale. Good. I'm going to call in my little girl and break the good news right now. Rosa! 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 You called me Papa! Yes, my little buttercup. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> hello, Luigi! Hello, Rosa. Rosa, I've got a good news for you. Tonight, at 8 o'clock, Luigi's giving a surprise party for his friend, Schultz. Then are we going to announce you engagement. What do you say to that? But, Papa, Schultz is already married. Ooh, shut up your face! <laughs> well, Pasquale, I'm going to my store, clean up the place, order the cake, and I call up all of the people that should have come to the party. Well, Luigi, you're not going to have a time for all that. I'm going to call up all of your friends. How's that, eh? Oh, thank you, Pasquale. Here, 
Wait, here's the list. Goodbye. Goodbye, Rosh. See you later. <laughs> Some list. Since the when is a Schultz have got so many friends? You see, Rosa, what I'm going to do to get a boy for you? Catering a big party for Luigi's the best friend, a Schultz. He's the best friend. I'm a brought a Luigi to America. I'm going to give him his first suit. I'm going to give him his first pair of shoes. I'm going to give him his first haircut. And a Schultz is his best friend. All of my life, I'm going to do good things for people as an old appreciation. I'm always a good, a nice, a kind, a speaker soft. Papa! Shut up! <laughs> hey, my deal with a Luigi is to cater the party. For nobody to show up, it's not my fault. What an idea! I'm going to fix a you party, Mr. Schultz, but a good... I'm going to never have a party. Why should he? Hello, Horowitz. Listen, uh, about the surprise party for tonight. Uh, I'm a calling for Luigi, and he's to say the party's a postponed until next week. Yes. You see, a little mistake was made. Schultz was born in the leapy year, so we got to wait till it's a leap over. <laughs> he don't understand. Well, what's the difference? There's a no party tonight, anyway. Tell all the people they shouldn't have come. <laughs> Luigi, it's a 20 after 8. What are we standing around in my stall for? Let's join the party in your stall. Take it easy, Pasquale. It's no rush. In America, it's always a fashion to come late to two parties. That's a etiquette. Oh, please, stop a quote from Emily's a post. <laughs> I made you a bigger party. I'm going to want to go in and see it. Pasquale, wait a few more minutes, huh? Hey, look how nice you look. That's here. another thing I'm going to like. Why are you making me dress up for Schultz's party? Look at this full dress suit. I feel like I'm walking around in my long underwear with her flaps are hanging on. <laughs> come on, come on. If you're not going in, I'm going to myself. All right, Pasquale. I'm going to go with you. Come on, come. Hey, Luigi, why are you taking my arm like that? You think we're going to get married? <laughs> Pasquale, you funny. Hey, look. Parties are supposed to be in my store. But the store is a dark. Yes, maybe nobody's there. Yeah, could be. Well, uh, we go inside and see if anybody is in. Luigi, what are you yelling about? <laughs> I don't know, Pasquale. Wait, wait, I open up the door. I'm a coming in with a Pasquale. Come on in, Pasquale. What's the matter for you? I'm here. Oh, and I know you are, Pasquale. Hey, where is everybody? Hey, what are you, Boob McNutts? Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> if you're not going to put on the light, I am. Hey, nobody is here. Well, that's a no surprise to me. Hey, you make a party, you invite the people, and nobody's to show up. Even the fellow you make it a party for, he's going to show up. That's a gratitude. You know why people is going to show up? Because Schultz is not the light. That's the why. Have a standard with you, Pasquale. Which do you like the best, the corned beef or the cheese? I'm not hungry. Push them together. I eat them both. <laughs> Look at this. A beautiful party you make for him. All this food. The table so fine a set. That birthday cake. Just look at it. Happy birthday to... Uh... Hey, that's a funny way to spell it. Schultz. P-A-S-Q-U-A-L-E. Happy birthday, Pasquale. It's a surprise party for you. What? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pasquale. Happy birthday to you. Luigi, I'm got a terrible confession to make. Happy birthday, Mrs. Spalding, a horror with your old Happy birthday. I heard what you said on the telephone. I brought everybody to the party. Huh? And that's a good thing she did. This party was for you. Yeah, Mr. Pasquale. Luigi planned it. 
party for you yesterday. But, but I'm an honest man. What's happened? I'm a call up, but nobody is coming. And now everybody is walked in. Do you see that, Bashwari? You got this poor dumb cop all for shimmer. <laughs> Luigi, I'm a no good man. I'm a called up everybody and told them not to come. You what the? Oh, I'm a so low I could have shaken hands with a worm. <laughs> Even lower than that, Pasquale. You are so low. If you was wearing Dr. Scholl's foot pads, Dr. Scholl would be sitting on your head. <laughs> That's all right, Mr. Scholl. Hey, wait a minute, Mr. Delicatessen. Man. Don't you tell me how low I am. Oh, boy. Cake, ice cream, candy. <laughs> Mr. Basco, can I start eating now? <laughs> sure, Johnny, sure. Sure, kid, sure. Go ahead. Eat the stuff for yourself until you get a sick. Well, I love it. I eat the stuff. Papa, when are you going to make the announcement? Oh, what the, the announcement? That's all right. The quiet, everybody, please. I've got an announcement to make. I was going to announce Luigi's engagement to my daughter, Rosa. But Luigi, I'm going to leave that up to you. Whenever you make up your own mind about a Rosa, you're going to come to me. Himmel, he just signed the Emancipation Proclamation for you. <laughs> now, I've got another announcement to make, especially for you, Luigi. I'm giving $100 to the boys at camp for so little Johnny could go away for the whole of summer. Pasquale. Oh, no. Gee, Mr. Pasquale. Thanks. Oh, I'm getting sick and tired of saving those rotten balls. <laughs> Boy, together, everybody. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Oh, Pasquale, you must excuse me. I didn't know how old you was, so I only put one a candle and a cake. Luigi, one a candle was just the right. This is my first birthday party. Hey, Luigi, I just thought of something. I'm your best friend. That's right, Pasquale. You're my best friend. And we always are going to be best friends, Luigi. Oh, sure. what a fun are we going to have. Always together. Two bodies are like a hi-ho and a silver. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, was a wonderful birthday party. Everybody is a want to find out the, how old the Pasquale was. So, Schultz is a count his teeth. <laughs> Pasquale is a say is a no use, his teeth is a false. <laughs> but a Schultz is a count his teeth anyway, and I figure out the, how Pasquale is a dentist is a 32 years old. <laughs> and you should see the change in a Pasquale. Is it become a so kind? When a Johnny is accidentally drop a plate, Pasquale is sure he's a perfect host, and he's a drop a plate too. <laughs> then when a Schultz is a drop a plate, Pasquale is a drop a two plate. And when a Horowitz is a drop a plate, Pasquale is a drop a three plate. I'm a thinking to myself, how come Pasquale is a got to so kind? Then I'm going to realize it's a my store and he's a drop on my plate. <laughs> well, a good night to Mamma Mia. Your loving son, Luigi Pasco, little immigrant. Life of Luigi is a Cy Howard production. It was written by Mac Benoff and Lou Durbin and directed by Mac Benoff. Jay Carroll Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Lee, Mr. Squally, Hans Conley, and Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Baldwin, and Jody Gilford as Rosa. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. Have you met my friend Irma? She's a regular Monday night feature on most of these same CBS stations. So make a date with my friend Irma tomorrow night. Bob Stevenson speaking. <laughs> now stay tuned for It Pays to be Ignorant, which follows immediately over most of these same stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.